Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. <sighs> what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review with Mr. Nathan Ryerson from Behind the Bar, Rumor. aka the Private Channel. <laughs> This, We're gonna say that in every. This video. whole weekend is all about how <laughs> private your channel is. Uh, we just did a lot of stouts, we did. so now we need to like cleanse our palate, and we're gonna drink a special wild ale, according to this label. Uh, this is the broken truck. Whoa! Number two. Didn't drop a bomb like that. I like, mean, broken truck. Yeah, it's just it's broken truck. Uh, from Degard Brewing, Tillamook, Oregon. Mm -hmm. Um, this is, it says on the label, a special wild ale aged in oak barrels blended from four years for our friends at Tin Bucket. I think this, like the broken truck name comes from the people at Tin Bucket were like driving somewhere and their truck broke down and the guys at Degar's like saved them, right? Or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Sounds right. Yeah. It's a cool name. Um, you actually reviewed this beer on your channel. So I've heard. Um, and I kind of feel like you kind of rushed it. <laughs> you were with somebody who you were... <laughs> You were kind of carrying that review, and I wanted to... In fairness, that review was Broken Truck Batch 1 versus Batch 2. Yeah, you, you did both of them. Yeah. But, but yeah, so you did that review, and I, like ever since I saw that I had a bottle of this, I'm like, as soon as I see you, we're going to drink this together. Pretty excited about this. Yes. I'm really, really excited about this. The only bummer about this is that my wife would probably like this, and she's not here. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Does she watch your videos? No. Well, maybe, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. So yeah, 5% uh, alcohol by volume. I don't know, like, do you know anything else about this beer? Uh, it has been described as the true American, uh... Lambic? No, no. Like, oh, Goose. Goose. Yeah, yeah. Or is it Goose or Goose? Goose? Goose. Yeah. goose. I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff. I'm I get, pretty sure I'm wrong, too. I get correct. But I'm pretty sure it's Goose. Uh, it, it's kind of like, people describe it as that. I would, well, we we know we're both huge fans of Duck Duck Goose. Love that beer. Um, hashtag clusterfuck. Yeah, hashtag worst beer review release ever. Did you? Did anyone try and get bottles of Duck Duck Goose? It was terrible. Yeah. If you did get bottles of it, you wasted about six hours of your life. A lot. A lot yeah. of hours. So, in comparison, this was considered by a lot of people to be the true, when it was released, American Goose. Um, because the batch one is three year blend, this is four year. There you go. So, um, I've had this beer for a couple months now. I got a huge, huge, huge shout out to my buddy Steve. I don't know if Steve watches these videos, but um, I have talked about him for high school, buddy. We played freshman football together and like just randomly the last couple of years from the power of craft beer we like connected that's again. awesome and he came down to san diego and we hung out and he was like he sent me a text and he's like you might want to come see me when i'm down here and i went and hung out with him and had some beers and he fucking gave me a bottle of broken that's truck insane. <laughs> so i'm like well i owe you my entire life so <laughs> there you go isn't it while you're pouring that just something you said that resonates with me constantly isn't the power of craft beer amazing because again we're sitting here because of the power of craft beer yeah no, it's it's there's there's no better community than the craft beer community. Maybe. Because it's all about like friendship and camaraderie and yeah. at the end of the day it's like fuck beer, we're just gonna hang out and like have good times. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. I agree. So Steve, I love you bro. Thanks, Steve. I'm just saying. So uh this looks it's one of those like kind of we talked about it with Duck Duck Goose, it's like kinda of Hefeweizen ish. It like, does the color of it. Yep. Um, it's, I mean, you can, there's, I don't know if it's chill haze, but it's not completely see-through. It's like that kind of hazy. Yeah, a little hazy. Um, no, I mean, the carbonation died away real quick. Not terribly huge, but for, for, for a goose that's a blend like this, that's to kind of be expected. Yeah. I can actually smell the, like, so the side door is open right now and there's like a breeze blowing in. Like, as soon as that breeze came in, I was like, wow, I can smell that. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks great. It's going to shove her nose in it. Shove her nose in it. Holy fucking lemon and like some vanilla in there. So I told you we we had talked about the spear knowing we were going to review it, mm -hmm. and I said it kind of reminded me a lot of Duck Duck Goose, where you get that lemon. This like reminds lemon me grass. of the 2013 Duck yeah, Duck Goose. Yeah, lemongrass and that just vanilla. Yeah. It smells tart too. It does. It like, smells really tart. It does. It smell. It smell. The, like the nose on this is fantastic, yeah. especially after we just drank stouts. A lot. <laughs> a lot of the stouts. Hashtag <laughs> Vanilla Wars. But yeah, it's like lemon, lemon peel, and like this crazy like vanilla thing. What is this? Oh, it's our notes. Hashtag vanilla wars. But yeah, it's effervescent. It's got like the, it's like a clean like fresh air. I, I don't know why I'm saying that, but like lemon, like 
clean vanilla like just it smells but it, there's a lot of lemon in this yeah for sure i kind of feel like just talking about duck duck goose when we drank that last year i felt like there was like a little bit of funk to that there's not like this is clean yeah it's it smells it doesn't have like that barnyard like no. wet blanket kind of like a oh, like bread which i this doesn't have bread in it um i don't think i could be wrong but this doesn't smell like bread at all we've been wrong time to time and i think it more often than about not, every video that we post. <laughs> But yeah, it's just straight lemon, like it, acidic tart, yeah. vanilla. It smells awesome. And like that cleanness, it makes it kind of reminds me of smelling champagne. Like yeah. just like a really like it smells like it's gonna be very effervescent. Yeah. Like the best part about this is like we just drank those like heavy stouts and like as soon as you drink this, you know it's just gonna like clean oh, your palate. It's, it's gonna, gonna be awesome. amazing. So but ready to do this? Oh yeah. Steve. Cheers. Thanks, bro. Steven, thank you. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. That's that's really really good. It's so clean as it goes across your palate. Fuck. Everything you described on we described on the nose, like mm -hmm. the lemon, the vanilla, it's all there. And I I don't know what I'm sure this is gonna happen a lot in this video. Keep going back to a beer that's very similar. Yeah. It's very similar to the thirteen duck duck goose, but not quite as sour. No, this so when we drank the twenty thirteen duck duck goose, we drank it with two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. And after we had that 13, <clears throat> that was like crazy acidic tart, we drank the 2009. This reminds me more of that. It's it does. like It's kind of like in the middle. It's like a middle ground. Right. Just like a little bit more mellow, mm -hmm. but you're still getting all like those flavors. Mm -hmm. that, that this, wow. This is a really, really good. No, this beer is awesome. It's, it's funny too, because this beer trades huge. And I'm glad I didn't trade this. I'm glad I'm drinking this. Yeah. This is this is awesome. It's so clean. The carbonation, like it didn't look like there's a carbonation, mm -hmm. like a lot of carbonation, but it glides velvety across your tongue. Big vanilla, um, like it, big lemon, lemongrass. It's like lemonade almost, like yeah. sour lemonade. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. I really, really, really like that. Because it, it's They're, not something that would like kill your, it won't kill your palate. It's not going to, no. like you don't need Tums for that. On the finish to me, it does have like a, like a woodiness, like almost mm -hmm. like a like splintered oak kind right. of thing, um, from the barrel, which is really nice. Yeah, that's oh my gosh, that's really really good because it's like a perfect amount of tartness, mm -hmm. and the lemon like sometimes lemon can become overpowering and it just gets yeah. super acidic and it like hurts your stomach. Like this is fantastic. Well, and like you said, you you've talked a few times about like going to something like Sourfest, mm -hmm. and if you drink like this is a bottle you could sit and you could probably get through this without wrecking. For sure. Out. Without a doubt, because it's not it's not like puckering sour. It's got a like almost like a perfect tartness. This is awesome. I like I love the guard. I don't know if I'm not sure if I've I'd have to go back and look, but I don't know if I've actually reviewed the guard beers on my channel. Oh, okay. And if yeah. I haven't, this is an awesome first to guard beer to review. This you is think? fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like the rarest beer there. This reviewed. would be fun to do like side by side with Duck Duck Goose. I mean, I. I that, honestly won't get another bottle. I mean, we way. just did that blind stout. This would be a crazy fun blind. I think you'd be able to tell. I, I I just think that it's not as like quite as tart on the nose and not quite as effervescent. Like it does. It reminds me of the 2009 version when we drank it next to the 13. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would say to go with that is I felt like the 2009, and it, it, it's part of what impacted my grade when I graded this on my channel. Um, it's not as creamy. It's like, no. I thought the 09 Duck Duck Goose was almost like creamy. Yeah, it was like a full mouthfeel. Yeah. This is still like that, like you said, champagne effervescent mm -hmm. kind of, it's not thin by any means, but it's not yeah. like that creamy kind of yeah. lemon curd kind of a creamy thing. Mm -hmm. But this is this great. This is freaking ridiculous. I love it. this beer so much. I'm so sorry that my wife is not here to drink this. I'm She'll never she's out of the country. I think yeah, she'll she's be all in right. fucking Italy right now. So there you go. She's drinking good wine and we're drinking good beer. There you go. Seems <laughs> fair. I love this beer. Lane, I think you'll like this one, pal. I'm just saying. What do you think grade wise of this? I'm sticking with what I gave it before. Um, I can't give this 100 mm -hmm. because I. So your favorite sour is <clears> Dunduk <throat> Goose. 
mine is still 09 Duck Duck Goose. Like, right. that beer blew my mind. See, tw- so I love that beer, but 2013, but you know, like, I'm into really, really exactly. sour. So 2013 Duck Duck Goose is still my favorite Which, sour. Which, in ever. fairness, this is kind of a really good middle ground for us. Yeah, I agree. Um, because it's kind of a blend of the two. It's I, almost like if you cuvee like, the 2009 with, two, like, 2013, you kind of mellowed it out. Yeah. So I'm, like, 98, 99. I'm 99 with this one. Yeah. So like, I, it, it's just a step down from 2013 Duck Duck Goose yeah. for me. This is fucking awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so we're, I mean, I, I would probably stick with a 98. Yeah, I'm going but 99. It's freaking, I mean, it's great. Yeah, that's Broken Truck, batch two from DeGuard. If you guys have had it, do you think a lot of people have this beer? No. Uh, I would say you are the second review on YouTube of said beer. Really? Mm-hmm. You were the first, mm-hmm. but you're private. So, <laughs> so technically, you're the only one. I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> we are the only one. Yeah, this beer is fantastic. I'm going 99, and it's only because. <clears throat> I'm comparing it to the to Duck Duck Goose. Yeah, and it's you know that's what happens with beers, right? Mm-hmm. You can't help but compare it to something else. Yeah. If you had never had Duck Duck Goose, this would probably this be... would probably be the best sour I've ever yeah. had. But if if this was just a just a tiny bit more sour, I yeah. would probably you'd be right there with it. Yeah, my wiener would probably be hitting the <laughs> table that we're sitting under right now. I'm just it's saying. only half mass right now. Yeah, it's I'm like quarter <laughs> sort of semi. <laughs> And so, yeah. these reviews are going to get out of hand. It's too. fine. Hit the subscribe button. You get more <laughs> reviews like this, right? Yeah, I don't know. True. I'm just saying. So, yeah, it's amazing stuff. So, like I said, if you had it, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, we got more beers to review. So, we will see you shortly. Dude, cheers, bro. <laughs> cheers. This beer is fantastic. Come get a pour of this, pal. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.